Hey, hey there, everybody. Anurubu here. Coming here with the first episode of my Let's Play of Prey. <laughs> so, Prey is a game released in 2017, which belongs to like a very weirdly defined genre of games called Immersive Sims. Where, where basically what they are is that they're like RPG, kind of RPG-like games where the games are characterized by um, your ability to solve situations and go through the game by basically doing anything you want. You're not really constrained by anything. If you can think of a solution and you can implement it, it's the right solution. I've, and I've always, always, always loved these kinds of games. But I've never really finished one because, I don't know, I kind of get burnt out or just overwhelmed by them after a while. But yeah, for a long time I've been hearing talk about how this one, Prey, the Prey 2017, is actually really, really fucking good. And it's also a horror game, and I love horror games. And for, for a while now, I just wanted to play it. And then, you know, I, want, I thought, hey, let me play it for my channel. The thing is, I have never played, like, an action-type game on my channel before. All I've played on my channel are, like, freaking visual novels or like what have I played? I've played visual novels and adventure games or like you know like JRPGs you know turn based stuff nothing really like this this is a first person RPG shooter whatever the fuck you want to call it but yeah I know nothing about this game I have not been spoiled I've seen some of the actually I've seen some of the visuals of like like what types of enemies I might expect but that's all but yeah I'm really looking forward to playing this game and I am kind of scared because, as I said, I've never played a more action-y type game on this channel before. And yeah, let's get going. I am very, very, very much looking forward to playing this game with how much I've heard about it. And let's go. So, a uh, new game. Oh yeah, I just want to say, I've already set my, like, uh, this is like some DLC or whatever. I'll think about whether I want to check it out later or not. I've already set all the options I want to set in my options menu, so I'm just gonna click new game right now. Uh, I've load I loaded it just so that just so for disclosure, I loaded into the game just to make sure my sound was right or whatever. But you know, I wasn't really paying attention or anything. But anyway, let's go. So uh, campaign starts one. Let's see difficulty. Okay, as I said, I've never played an action game on this channel before, but. I love myself a challenge. So what difficulties are there? There's normal. Use your weapons, wits, use your wits, weapons, and abilities to survive. The, your wits are the only things that will keep you alive. Nothing can save you. And cover the secrets of Talos one. Survival is all but guaranteed. Okay, e story, easy, normal, hard, nightmare. Okay. I I love myself a challenge, and I I think I can adjust to get in, like, uh, difficulty in game. I think I want to. Uh, I want to try this. This is a horror game. I want to try it on Nightmare. If it's too difficult, I have no shame lowering the difficulty. But yeah, I want to start it on the hardest difficulty just to see how it is and try to get through it. I love suffering through games like this. So, what survival mode options? This is a set of optional modifiers to make the game more challenging. Warning: these options cannot be changed beyond this. Okay, not recommended for inexperienced players. Okay, I'm inexperienced with this game, but I wouldn't call myself an inexperienced player. <laughs> Uh, anyway, survival mode. Let's see what these are. Weapon degradation. Weapons wear down from use. Environmental habits. If not repaired, they will... Okay. Sounds good to me. Adds new trauma statuses. Cool. Uh, yeah, I like it's exactly up my alley. Suit damage causes the air to leak from your suit, limiting your air... This all sounds like realistic stuff. Realism. I love realism. I want to feel like I'm fucking dying in a game like this. Let's go. I'm going to leave it like this. You can call me a fool. I will turn down the difficulty if I really cannot cope with it. I have no shame in that, but... For now, let's click continue, let's start. I'm ready to play. Oh, what? A male free- okay, cool, I get to choose a- choose my gender. Cool, so- oh, what up? I went red there for a second, my guy. So, M-U, and uh, hmm. So I'm called M-U no matter- yeah, the eyes are going red there for a second, but anyway. Called M-U no matter what I'm called, but- uh, who, who do, who do I want to play as? Who do I want to play as? Hmm. Uh, I like the look of her. Yeah, she looks cool. I think I'm going to play as the female. Cool. Let's play as her. Oof, I'm so excited. So, so, so excited. So excited. 1955, the space race begins when both the US and Soviet Union make rival announcements about the intent to launch the first satellite. Cool. Now entering your apartment. Hmm. Cool. 
Let's get going. Oh, I hope this looks good. I hope this sounds good. I've done my best to try and ensure a good like experience for everybody. And I hope it succeeds. And press any key button. Let's get going. I'm very excited to play this game. Good morning, Morgan. Today mm. is Monday, March 15th, Ooh. 2032. March 15th. Yeah, I think that's the Ides of March. Cursed day. Our name's Morgan, apparently. It's also one of my best friend's holiday... Um, one of my best friend's birthdays, but yeah. Ooh, this looks good. Oh, wait. Uh, sorry. So, I can pause. Nice. Pre-order. Thank you for pre-ordering pay pray your pre-order item uh, Office of Morgan Yu. So yeah, I name VP Director. I didn't fucking pre-order Prey. Uh, I guess this is like uh you may review tutorial messages later in the book. Okay. I think this is like a thing that they added had, had as a pre-order bonus and then like, you know, as the years went on they just added as like just a part of the game. I can respect it, but I didn't pre-order this fucking game. I bought it a week ago. <laughs> cool. Anyway, weird to start, but anyway. Hey, Morgan. Wake up. You're burning daylight. Alex, you? Send the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. Okay, cool. See you soon. Oh, okay. Listen, I, uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Okay, cool. So, Alex, you. They have the same uh, last name as us. And I'm called Morgan Yu, that's based. Oh, uh, Morgan, gender neutral name, amazing. That's why you can play as a male or female. Cool, uh, so yeah, I guess I'm here. Okay, do not expect me to be in any way fast with this game. I love these types of open, like, first, not open world. I mean, like, first person immersive sim type games. I will be taking my time, I'll be doing whatever the hell I want. I'll be examining every last detail of the, of the environment if I want to. I'm gonna take in this world. Alright, let's go. I'm getting a bit of... Sorry. Before we let's go, I'm getting a bit of screen sharing. Do I have VSync on? I do have VSync on. Why am I getting screen sharing? Never mind. Let's keep going. Cool. So what is this? Neuromod application instructions. F read. Morning. Neuromod... What the fuck's a neuromod? Neuromod should only be administered by certified Transtar technicians under controlled conditions. Subject may experience slight discomfort, swelling, or redness of the eye shortly after. Do we... Do we have a neuromodus? Whatever a neuromod is, do we have one of those? Because our eyes were red in that early thing. Remove neuromod from vacuum sealed container. Press rubberized eye clamp, eye cup, firmly against bony orbit of eye socket. Keep eye open. Depress orange release trigger and continue to hold neuromod against eye for five minutes. Dispose of used neuromod and provide the biohazard bag. Okay, whatever a neuromod is. Plastic tubing. Take. What does surge do? Oh, so. Okay, I can loot containers, okay, I can loot containers, what a material yield, I can loot containers either through like, um, like through the world, or I can actually open like a detailed inventory menu, that, that's cool. Okay, uh, let's see, closet door, used door, nice, and, huh? Oh, oh, no, okay, oh. I, I, okay, this is how I know that it's a good immersive sim. When they just let me pick random fucking bullshit up. Okay, F drop, but that's not important. I can do this. Okay, I didn't throw it as far as I expected, but if you let me pick shit up, I know I'm playing a quality game right here. Oh, so good. Yeah, fuck you. Anything else? Fuck you. <laughs> oh, okay, anything like actually interactable in here? Shoe. Whoa. This thing flew a bit far. Amazing. Ah, oh, already. I haven't even, like, properly st started it. I'm having a lot of fun. Oh, I love these kinds of games. I'm sorry if I'm, like, gushing a bit too much, but I'm really looking forward to playing this. Yeah, hold F to pick up multiple items. Okay. So, like, hold F and then... Uh, oh, okay. So, if it's, like, an inventory item, not, like... It's, just, like, a f flingable item. Bro, what the fuck is this thing? Don't know. So yeah, I did go into the um, uh, control options just at the beginning just to see what the controls are. So I know some of them, uh, but not. I haven't memorized all of them. <laughs> all of them yet. Oh, I love it. I can just throw shit. So good. Anyway. Uh, 
so I've got like okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I'm I'm getting I'm getting a bit <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a bit carried away with the ability that I'm able to do some of these things. Uh, that I'm not really considering like what's happening. So this is like a workbench. I'm like a technician of some kind. I mean, it said like vice VP of research or something in that pre-order bonus thing. Speech synthesis and natural language generation. Let's read. Oh, so yeah. And also these types of games usually have lots of lore, lots of amazing world building. I will be taking my sweet ass time immersing myself in this world. I'll be reading everything. If that's not up to your taste, I'm sorry. This is my let's play. Except three... From Chapter 3 of Speech Synthesis and Natural Language Generation by Sebastian Smythe. Voice conversion technology enables synthesis systems to generate speech patterns based on the... Okay, okay, I gotta restart the stanza. I don't take anything in. Voice conversion technology okay, enables synthesis systems to generate speech patterns based on their source or entirely new voices. Without the need of exhaustive recordings and pre-processing. The quality of the resulting voice depends on the training data as well as the precision of the conversation conversion function and limitations and processing power okay it's just saying like what what did it say the year was 2032 i think march 15 20 yeah march 15 2032 2032 so we're like like nine years in the future and from now and um like they've got like cool voice processing features or whatever okay i gotta just stop picking random shit up <laughs> okay so, okay, so if it's an open palm hand that picks it up, okay, and if it's like a closed palm, like covered palm hand, no, like above palm hand, then it means like pick up. Okay, cool. So, glad I figured that out. Oh, oh, I can crawl beneath shit. That's, that's cool. And, uh, pizza. Fuck you. So, okay, these are all just like physics items. Morgan you. Okay. F use object. Tutorial. Transtar employee workstations often contain useful information files. Utilities. Press T to view more. Workstations. Many Transtar employees. Yeah, who's this guy? He looks cool. Many Transtar employees have private workstations. Locked stations require passwords. Search the environment for clues or use the hacking ability to bypass the origin. Workstations may contain email, files to download, or special utilities. Okay. So, um, how do I use this? Use object. Okay, wait. Okay. I got a tutorial pop up. F use object Z examine. Okay, Z exam. What? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So I see. I need to aim at the password. So I can use them like just like freely like this if I want to. But I can also. What's the. Damn. You got long arms, girl. Anyway. But I can also like go into like a dedicated menu for them where okay I can only use it. That's pretty cool. Cool. I got three emails. Let's look at my three emails. Congrats and welcome from Thomas Tucker to Morgan U CC with Alex U. That was the guy that was on the intercom earlier. Hello Morgan. So glad. <clears throat> sorry. So glad to hear you'll be coming aboard soon. Your first official work day is Monday, March 15th. But we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight and I will see you soon. Thomas Tucker, Human Resources, tell us one research. Okay, so we're in orbit. So we're going to space. All right, that's cool. I'd love to go to space. Delivery. Hey, I sent a package with everything you'll need for your first day. Uniform, transcribe, and uh, Neuromod. Installed the Neuromod right away as we'll be running some tests first thing, first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch. Alex. Alex, you, Morgan, you. Cool, so that's from Alex. I wonder... I mean, we have the same surname. Is he like our dad or like our like our brother or cousin, whatever? Ready? Alex, you, Morgan, you. Hey, I just got off the phone with mom and dad. Okay, the way he says that makes me think he's my brother. They won't be here there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York, company stuff, but they send their best. I think mom's a little disturbed that both her children... Are okay. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're siblings. That both her children are going to be outside of gravitational pull at the same time. She said you'd better behave and do everything your big brother says, okay? Actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So there you go. That's mom. Anyway, everyone's excited about your ideas up there. So get ready. I'll prob call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very, very soon, Morgan. See you very, very soon, Morgan. Alex. You sound sweet. Okay. His voice sounded kind of threatening on the intercom. So I'm glad he sounds like fine at least <laughs> when he's writing emails to us. Chair. Okay. 
Okay, so that's my suit, and I uh, got a big notification on it, so I'm not gonna do that yet because I don't I don't want to progress the story. I just wanna... I can just pick up everything. I love it. Oh, it's actually making me so happy. Well, let's take a look outside. Ooh. This is... This looks... Like, really good. This game came out in 2017, but like, like yeah, it looks really amazing. I'm surprised my PC can run it. I hope... Like, okay... I have been using a very bad PC for so long that I have no idea what people consider good or bad performance. So if people watch this video and they're like, oh my god, the frame rate is horrible, I want you to know this is very, like, butter smooth for me. I am used to bad PCs. <laughs> uh, uh, door jammed, okay. They don't want to let me go outside, cool. Uh, what's happening here? Wait, what's that? Carry leverage 3. Oh, so I can't pick up the couch because I don't have the skill to pick it up okay so if i want to pick up heavy shit i need to get the leverage skill i understand the fact that you can get skills to pick up heavy shit this just reminds me of like deus ex and stuff and i know i keep like comparing stuff but like it just makes me happy i love these kinds of games so much and they're so rare but usually they're so they're so so good monday march oh yeah 2032 82 degrees i'm assuming that's in fahrenheit or we'd be dying right now and i don't know what fahrenheit temperatures actually are I am a Celsius only baby. Okay, an account of Fermi's question. Fermi, isn't that that chemist guy? Excerpt from a book on the existence of extraterrestrial intelligence by Dr. Robert James III. Consider that there are billions of stars in the galaxy like our sun, many of them far older. Some of these stars will have Earth-like planets, some of these planets may have developed intelligent life. Some intelligent life may develop instantly. Why can't I read? Some intelligent life may develop interstellar travel. If a civ if a c okay, slow down and read. Oof. If a civilization began before ours, it seems possible, even probable, that even at the speed of currently measured interstellar travel, they could have already have the entire galaxy colonized. The problem is we haven't de detected any such civilizations, nor have any contacted us. Why? I mean, look. The universe is fucking massive. Even if there is, like, a, a race of fucking massive, like, space imperialists, they could be in some fuck-off galaxy in the middle of nowhere, and their interstellar travel might still be, like, slow compared to the, the vast expanses between us. There's just... I... Look, in real life, I fully believe that aliens could exist because the universe is huge. But the, the the probability of any intelligent life being anywhere close enough for us to know about it, I think is minuscule. Anyway. Okay, so like the actual interactable things are like highlighted. That's cool. Ooh, lots of stuff to read. Let's go. What's this? Oh, just a physics object. Get away. Get, get, what? Go away. Shoo. Engineering control systems. Except from the afterword of engineering control systems by Sven Schurd. There's a metaphor here, you know. Typically, the objective of control theory is to monitor the output of a system and compare it with the desired output, the reference signal. The difference between the actual and the desired outputs, the error signal, is applied as feedback to the input of the system to bring the actual output closer to the reference. Good control systems and good engineers learn from the past. So, it's just like if you're doing some engineering stuff, you need to, you know, it's like... Uh, it reminds me of like what I know from statistics. It's just like there's error and then there's the how much you want to match your like the model or like the thing you're working with the output to the thing that you're actually looking at. Uh, I kind of get it. Not really. Maybe. But kind of. The brain was once principles of neuroscience 10th edition. The brain was once, once considered too warm, wet and noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes. However, however, the discovery of quantum coherence in biological processes just, such as plant photosynthesis, avian navigation, and our own sense of smell paved the way for the eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the microtubules of neurons. So, we've discovered quantum processes in other living beings and then uh, understood that that meant like we have quantum vibrations inside our brain neurons. That's interesting. So what are we doing with these quantum processes in our brain neurons? Consciousness, the fire in the equations. We're going deep into the existential questions in this, <laughs> in this game. Except from chapter one, Consciousness, the fire in the equations by Dr. Stuart Penrose. The nature of consciousness remi remains deeply mysterious. How can the subjective nature of experience, my inner life, 
be explained in scientific terms. Does consciousness emerge from complex computations among brain neurons, or is it a fundamental and irreducible property woven into the fabric of the universe? No fucking clue, my guy. I understand what you're asking. I cannot even begin to answer that question. Introduction to survey of parapsychological meta <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, look, I, I have to read these kinds of things in my work. Why am I reading them now? Except from the introductory to survey of parapsychological meta-analysis by Dr. Deo Igwe. For example, conducting a meta-analysis of over 2,000 Gunsfeld trials, wherein participants are subjected to mild sensory deprivation in order to test for telepathy, reveals a hit rate of 39%. So 39% of what the hell, whatever Gunsfeld trials, 39% of these people are telepathic? Is that what you're trying to say? These are also statistically significant. You can't just say that. You've got to provide your stats, meaning that the success rate is above what would be explained by chance alone. There is no denying it. Something spooky is going on. Okay. A Midnight, Midnight Song is a classic anthology of Tang Dynasty verse. Except from the anthology of Tang Poetry on the Stock Tower by Wang Zhihuan. Oh, that's just straight up Chinese. Cool! Uh, great. That's like a bilingual bonus thing. We're like, well, not bilingual. Well, whatever. If you speak Chinese or can read script, Chinese script, then you can read that. Based. Uh, I cannot, though. <laughs> cool. Trash can. Search. Uh, I see. Carry. Wait, I can carry containers? I can put things... Okay, now this game is getting good. Cool. So... Soap. Lovely. Sink. We'll just let that run a bit. Just just get some nice water wastage. Ooh, light. Amazing. Okay, that's much better. The sinks are timed. The future is a much more civilized place than we are. You can't just run it and then waste all the water in the world. Let's take a quick shower while I'm fully clothed. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Yeah, I can stay on. Is this timed? Hmm. Ooh, nice water physics. Wait, that's not physics. That's just Texas. Never mind. Yeah, that can stay on. Close the door. <laughs> nice handbag. What is that? It's like a ladle of some kind. Cool. What's this? What is that? A teapot. It's like a teapot. Okay. I like this teapot. This thing speaks to me. Uh, I'll leave it here for now. Cool. What's here? Heart of the Walk. Except from Chapter 5 of Heart of the Walk by Pusu Do. Pisu Do. Cooking with a well seasoned wok can be a sublime almost spiritual experience. The many layers of blackened surface are like stored memories of all the meals that have gone in and out of the carbon steel bowl before. Now imparting echoes of their rich flavor to every new meal it is the task to cook. That's kind of sweet. I like that it's not just like science and physics stuff. Like this person has actual like books you'd find, you might find in like different areas of the house. Ooh, a mug. Does it break? Fuck yeah, it breaks. <laughs> Wait, I can carry the fridge if I had- oh my god. I'm just picking up all the- I'm just gonna pick up all the items I see until the game tells me I can't pick up shit anymore. Stove, turn on. Okay, that turns the- ooh, something to pick up. What is that? What is that? Bag of emergency glu- just emergency glucose? Glucose, okay, cool. Cold mountain green tea, refreshing can of cold brew green tea by- okay, cool. These are just some- these are just some, like, inventory items, that's sure. How do I light the fire? I just turn the gas on. I don't know. Is the shower still going? No, it's not. Nice. Alright, anything else here? Oh, so, okay, let me just finish examining these areas. What is this? Like a steamer? Yeah, cool. Encyclopedia of Food Science and Cooking. Excerpt from an entry in the Encyclopedia of Food Science and Cooking, 2033 edition by Elliot N. Shaw. Transglutaminase, TG or TGAs, a naturally occurring enzyme found in plants, animals, and bacteria, TG is often used to bond protein containing foods together. And in the production of foods such as imitation crab meat and fish balls, known colloquially by meat as by chefs as meat glue. Chef Shaw's tip, gluing chicken skin to salmon will actually protect the outside of the salmon from overcooking. Now, is this like a freaking like sci-fi thing or does this thing exist in real life? Because I know, it could be cool to experiment with. I love cooking. 
Another mug. Amazing. Ooh, some wine. I can drink or take. Mm, let's take it. I don't want to drink it now. I'm just going to go to work. I'll drink it there. I'll drink on the job. Note. Congrats, Morgan. Uh, oh, that's sweet. I brought the same congrats. Wait, we took the note with us. Okay. The method dot psi. Except from Architects of Neurological Revolution. What if I told you I could turn you into a mathematician on the level of Einstein in under 10 minutes? I'd say you're full of it. That's the first thought that crossed my mind, but it withers in the face of Alex Yu's conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. He's not bullshitting me. Himself? Maybe. Me? No. Alex leans back in his chair. Welcome to the age of the Neuromod. This all just seems like marketing corpo speak. <laughs> like, if, if the stuff we're doing is real... If the stuff we're doing is real, then yeah, that's real, whatever. But, hmm... I wonder what, like, Neuromod, what, are, like... Okay, wait, let me read this again. What, what does that mean? I told you I could turn a method. So... This Neuromod thing or whatever... It allows you to, like, become smart? Is it like a brain chip or something? I'm not sure. Looks nice outside. Anyway, is that all that I can do here? Is there anything else? Anything else shiny that I missed? What is this? Oh yeah, that's the language thing. Uh, no, I guess not. So, let's just put our suit on. First day on the job, put on your Transtar uniform. Cool. Cool. That's great. <laughs> I... Hmm... I want to take the teapot with me. I don't know. I like this thing. I'm taking it with me. I can't open the door with it. Okay. Open door. Let's go, teapot. Is that a person? Oh. Morning, Miss Yu. Hello. Pat what was your name? Yeah, you can rest here for a bit. What's your name? Patricia Varma. Okay. What are you doing? Repairing something? These uh, things can be tricky, you know? Uh, yeah, maybe. I'm not sure if I know. Is that your light? I got your light. It's over there now. Anything to say about that? I'll bring it back. <coughs> Just use space to jump and shift. Okay, press C to crouch or to slide. Oh, you give me a sli sprint slide? I love sprint slides. You, they, they put my one of my favorite features in any game into this game. I already love it. Sorry, I'll bring your light back. Okay. Here we go. What's on this side? Just some fish. What kind of fish is that? I'm not sure. Oh, right clicking makes a weird noise. Okay, got it. Locked. Locked. Talk. Let's talk to you. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. Okay. You'll have to take the elevator. I have to? There's no stairs? Okay, there's... where does this go? Isn't that my apart? Wait. No, no, no. This. Wait. So my wall ends here. Where does. Look, I'm assuming there's stairs, but. Okay. So I'm, I don't know why, but we can't use the stairs. We have to take the elevator. Anything more to say? Down the hall. But you know that, I guess. I guess I know that. Aren't you going to be late? Uh, I don't know if this game has late mechanics. I'm just look. I just love getting all the dialogue and shit. You're supposed to keep going. What the fuck does that mean? That's ominous as hell. You're going to get me in trouble. Uh, what, what kind of future am I living in? Am I just not allowed to speak to like working people or something? I can't talk to you anymore. This sounds hor horrible. Like I'm just like some guy in like some girl or guy, whatever, in some condo. Oh, uh, like just like a really nice apartment. I'm not allowed to speak to the work. For some reason, you'll get in trouble. Okay, I'm sorry. Whatever. Echelon residential tower. Fuck you. And you don't allow me to speak to the workers for some reason. Okay, let's get in the elevator. Wait. Okay, nearly forgot this. <laughs> okay. Hello, M. You. Why does the elevator know who I am? I'm not gonna judge it. This is like some cyberpunk or like... Well, I, I don't... It doesn't... I don't know if it's cyberpunk, but some future bullshit. Some sci-fi bullshit. Okay. Examine. Okay. So even like screens like this, I can go into examine mode. Or I can use like directly like this. That's cool. 
My floor. Let's go to my floor. No? Okay. Roof? Okay. Going up to the roof. Locked. Roof access. Cool. So I'm assuming... Stairs are broken. Okay, got it. Let's go. Ooh, there's a helicopter. Let's go, teapot. Ooh, music started. Nice music. Is there anything around here? No, doesn't seem like it. Cool. Just wanted to see if there's anything that was interesting around here. Cool. Let's get on the helicopter! What? Okay. Uh, I hope this doesn't take me into a cutting, because... I mean, if it does, goodbye. Goodbye, teapot. I hope I can just board the elevator. Nope! Okay. I'll miss you, teapot. Oh, okay. That was a fun intro. I just love messing around in, in that... I just love messing around in the... Miss in you! The, Please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Okay, I can't speak for some Transtar facility is just a short hop. Bethesda software... 78 percent. degrees. Clear skies all the way. Okay, so I'm like rich enough that I can be helicoptered across to my work. Okay. Bethesda Softworks presents. Oh, this is cool. Okay. I love this. Look at the city. Oh. This, the music is good as well, damn. That's a nice view on the bay there. What? What does that say? And... Arc okay, Arcane... I'm assuming that says Arcane Studios production, because I know they made this game. Cool. This intro is fucking awesome! I love this intro, damn! That short flight or whatever... Ooh, birdies! Here we are, Ms. Yu! Mind the glass on the way out! Good luck to you! Where, where's the birds? Saw some birds just now. Okay. Anyway. Okay, the word prey is gone, okay. <laughs> that intro is so good, I liked it a lot. Cool. Transstar. Hello, Dr. You. Hello? What a science operator. Okay, I just gotta say, I love that intro. Also, uh, I think I'm like getting into the game proper now, and I just... <laughs> sorry if I took too long for some people's days in that little apartment. I, I'm just... I'm just already enjoying this game so much, and I just wanted to just mess around in that apartment for a while, and... It's pretty fun to just, you know play and mess around and it's just so yeah <laughs> okay science operator let's talk I'm to I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator Transtar has over a dozen state-of-the-art facilities across the globe I'm sure More, they do if you count the entire earth moon system okay so we've settled the moon in this world our research often requires intense focus and long hours I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after you're the You're gonna test. give me fucking if LSD? Alright, you're gonna- they're just like, okay, cool, if you want to, after, like, your work, you can get- take some drugs to cool off or whatever, what the fuck? Everyone's <laughs> eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Hugh. I know I am. Okay. My instruments are calibrated for high-volume data analysis. What happened to this I'm line of dialogue? Meetings. Don't worry. Nothing will be missed. That line of dialogue doesn't have the same digitized full server as the others. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos 1. So, I'm assuming that's like an orbital research platform? All our labs meet the minimum. <laughs> Strange. That's never happened before. I'll have to file a maintenance request. Please you, excuse me, Dr. Yu. You okay, my guy? I'm sure your brother is waiting for you. The elevator will take you directly to the testing area. You probably didn't see me there. What? What do you mean? You Just don't break on me. I like you. You're, you're, a, you're a cute little robot. Whatever you are. Welcome. 
Morgan Yu. Hello, you elevator. Have a 9 a.m. Appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Uh, why, why do I have to confirm my appointment to the elevator? Okay, confirm. Cool. Damn, this elevator is fucking fast. I went down Morgan. like. Finally. Hello. Hello, brother. I went down like 30 floors in like 10 seconds. Less, well, however long it took. I don't mind. First day on the job. Report to test center. Try and start test. I don't know why there's screen tearing. Anyway, doesn't matter. Just, just focus on the game. Hello, guy. So that's my brother. Hey. You don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. Thanks for the compliment. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a new family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Okay. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Okay. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy is going to walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your sister in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. I wish I could show you what I've been working on. Dr. Yu. Are they talking to me? Okay. Hello, brother. Uh, that was a nice little interaction. You better get in there before Bellamy gets Let's impatient. Make into room A. Bellamy can wait. I want to catch up with my brother. I don't know how long, how long it's been since I last saw you. <sighs> don't sigh at me. Okay. I've exhausted my dialogue with you. Is it through here? What is method dot sigh? What if I told you you could... Oh, this is the same thing as the thing in my apartment. Cool. Testing rooms. Oh, I got... I love these nice... Oh, these just tech displays in the middle of the lobby. Amazing. You know, what, what, you know where you need all the stuff. Testing rooms. A. Let me out. Okay, I guess I'm trapped Good in morning, here. Good morning, Morgan. Hello. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Hello, Looks Dr. Like Bellamy. we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Okay, so I need to remove boxes from here as quickly as I can. Here's the button I press to start the test. Okay. Can I press it from the back? Dr. Ooh, I you. can't. Morgan, we're ready. Yeah, yeah, give me a sec. I'm in maxing. Just, just, just let me, let me cook for a bit. So if I can t touch it from the back. Okay, that's whenever the Whenever you're ready, Morgan. Yes, whenever I'm ready. Shut up. If I can touch it from the back, then I can remove the boxes faster. Cool. Go. Come on, come on, go, go. Pick, 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 pick. Go, go, go. Wonderful. Hell yeah. That's... You're absolutely fine. What do you mean? Uh, let's move on to room B then. Thank you. You, you could have stuck with wonderful. Four? What does four mean? Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only oh, have wait, shit. nine seconds. Uh, pick this up. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Wait, what? Wait, do I have... Wait, wait, so am I... Is the countdown now? Oh, no, there's... Okay, so once I hit... Okay, what you mean to say is... The red button starts the test. I understand, motherfucker. So, what you mean to say is... I hit the button, and then... Then I have nine seconds to hide. Well, why don't I just prepare? Did you see what they had in the cafeteria this morning? Crepes. I want a crepe. Okay, so... There's no way to hide in here, my guy. How do I hide? Like, okay, there's a camera here, so do I just hide? Uh, press the red button. Shut up. 
So do I just hide under its blind spot? I mean, there's a chair here. Can I... If I can get it to stand upright again, I could... Is it warm in here? I could just... I could hide behind it. Oh! Glass won't break, will it? Okay, cool. It won't break. Can I put this upright again? No? Is there, <sighs> is there any way to... Ro Whoa. Okay. What the fuck is this? I just middle clicked to see if I could rotate the object, but I guess not. Uh, I can't make this upright again, but okay. Uh, okay, whatever. I'm just gonna put this in the corner here and mm. just. Oh wait, what? If I approach it from this. The red button starts. I the understand. Test. I'm just. If I approach it from a specific angle, it like make, puts me in like s crouch sneaky mode or something. Can I just hold? Mm. Can I just hold it over myself? Okay, fuck it. I'm just gonna try hide behind the chair somehow. Let's go. Get off. Okay, let's hold it up, like, here. Am I hiding? Hmm, uh, Any synaptic register? At all? No? What are you talking about, my guy? Oh, that's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. Did I hide well? Can you give me some feedback? Can I know what I did wrong? All right. Nope. Okay. Cool. Let's go to the next one. This guy's kind of a dick. What is this? Just a jumping puzzle? I can All jump. Right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible. Okay. Without thinking. Just, just go for it. Okay. Press the red button when you're ready. Okay, which one's the red button? Okay, so this isn't the red button. So I have to press the red button and then run across, jump, and press the blue button as fast as I can. Okay. Again, I'm going to utilize my... <laughs> the red button starts the test. I'm going to utilize my strat for the boxes in room A. I'm going to... Where can I touch this red button? Can I touch... Okay. Can't reach it from here, can I? No, okay. So, <sighs> so, but I can reach it. Okay, I can reach it from here. Can I jump backwards like this? Okay, cool. I can jump backwards. <sighs> Got it. Cool. Let's go. Get wrecked. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? What do you mean? Simmons? What, what's wrong? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. What the fuck are you guys talking about? The speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Okay. There's something weird going on, but yeah, let's go into D. Oh, why is the screen... Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Okay. Sit, oh, sit down. Cool. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. Yeah. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Cool. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Okay. Let's go. You're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar. Okay. You're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know you love or try something new. Mm, I don't know. My kind of inclination is to go somewhere familiar I like. I, I like ref like visiting the areas I like. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. It's, it's simple, Keep my going. guy. Cool. You've been sent... Oh, Jesus. This is a leap? What do you mean by actions? My actions of going to a place I like? You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Afraid? I don't know what will happen. Angry? No one has that right. Calm? It was a angry, bro. Don't sentence me to death. No one has a right to sentence Ooh, anybody to death. Heavy stuff. Yes, it is. Why are you a runaway? Oh my god! Now you're hitting me with the fucking trolley problem. A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there's one person tied to the second track. Okay, fucking trolley. Well, 
if I don't know any of the people, if all of these are random people that I don't know on the track, then I would rather save the life of five people than lives of five people by condemning one person to death, unfortunately. So yeah, switch tracks. Save five people, kill one. If I don't know them, switch tracks. Good. Next. A runaway, a runaway train is bearing down on five people. He's standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Pushing him on the track would stop the train. What? <laughs> okay, this is just a trolley problem again. What they're asking is, this is the this is the exact same story as before. You will kill one person to save five. This is the same. It doesn't matter whether you're changing the tracks or pushing someone onto a train track. It is the exact same scenario, mathematically. You are trading one person's life for the lives of many. So yes, uh, if I'm sticking to my morals, uh, push the fat man because it's the same thing. Almost done. Yes. A runaway train is bearing down on five people tied to the track. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. Now, this is completely different, because I am inherently selfish. I do not want to... I do not want to die. So, no. If I don't know the people, I don't think I'll be sacrificing myself to save five people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm selfish like that. So, no. I won't be jumping on the tracks. Push the fa there no way have they said that killing a random fat guy would would like save these people. That was the previous question. So this this option doesn't even exist. So do nothing. I'll do nothing in this case. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you for calling my answers. Well interesting. done. Well done. We're nearly through it. What's for this, this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. What? In a moment, I'm going to ask you. What was what, that? Uh, it's my coffee. It's empty. What the fuck? Oh my God. Jesus. Security! Security! What's happening? What's that? Is this fucking Neurotop? What the fuck just happened? Huh? Uh. Uh. <laughs> Alex. Marcus Simmons. Simmons. What's going on? We have a problem. Have what a about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Why? Why did I get sedated? Uh, okay. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March fifteenth, twenty thirty-two. No, it fucking isn't. We've already had Monday fifty. Monday, March 15th, good morning. This isn't Monday, March 15th, good morning. I've already had this morning. What is this? What? Huh? I'm missing all my inventory items, what? Data, no notes. What is this? What the fuck just happened? Uh, okay. Hey, hey there, everybody. On Ruby here. Uh, I'm starting playing uh, Prey for the first time ever. This is my first time in this apartment building. Let's take a look at all these crazy physics objects. Wow. No, but seriously, what the fuck just happened? Okay, I guess I'll loot everything I looted again. This is the same. Yeah. Yeah, this is the same. I just want to check something. Okay. Data. Bruh, okay, I gotta read all the books I read uh, uh, last time again, if I want to add them to my notes, which I do. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I am weird like that. Uh, okay, but something weird's fucking happening. Is the sun higher? I can't tell. I should have... I mean, I guess it doesn't look as bright as earlier. Are they lying to me? Is it like afternoon, actually? Not sure. Anyway, closet. Huh? Okay. okay. Everything here seems fine. Not sure what's. Oh, Jesus. Okay. It's starting. Okay. Take all your stuff that you had last time. Don't leave anything. Read. Just, just open. Is that enough to. Um... Is that enough? Okay, cool. If I just open it and close it, I get. Sorry, I just want to check something. If I just open it and close it, I get the. Um... The, uh, Data J. 
I get the thing of my daughter. Cool. Okay, no, that's not an inventory item. Okay. F paradox. Oh, six emails. Oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Danger, leave now. EOM. From January to Morgan U. Is this next one gonna be from February? Nope. Okay. Is that added as. Uh, Six separate emails. Okay, amazing. Got it. Uh, okay. Hands on electronics. By working through. Except from the preface of hands on electronics by Antoinette Sokal. By working through a series of practical experiments, the Sumble Manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern, modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you'll be able to construct any simple circuit. As Mods Thomas Edison once said, to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. Okay, is this new or did I just miss it last time? Because it'd be... I don't know if I examined this table very well last time. So this could just very well have been there the last time and I just missed it. Anyway, uh... What is this? Oh, no, oh, that's that. Okay, so... We are having the same morning again, but with, like, weird ambiance... Like, not weird, like, scary ambiance music this time. Okay, just read all the things you... What's this? Galactic 6 conquest... Galactic 9... Okay, no, Galact... I don't fucking know, it doesn't matter. Just read all these again. Just so I have all the notes in my inventory. Okay, cool. Uh... Let's say anything in here, turn that on. <laughs> I don't... Dude, I'm just messing around with... Or thinking. I'm just retracing my steps. I don't if there's any time paradox shit happening. Oh wait, is that my brother? Yeah, that is my brother. Nice. If there's any time paradox shit happening, I don't want Oh my trust people. I don't want to like fuck it up in any way. Take the wine. The note was here last time. What the hell is this? What the f- Okay, this is kind of creepy. Like, honestly. So, some weird fucking, like, monster thing. I've seen it before. Like, that's as I said at the beginning of the recording. I've seen those monsters in this game. Some weird monster thing just appears and, like, attacks the scientist that was testing me. And now- And then I get sedated and now I'm, like, back in my, um back in my like room from the beginning of the game i don't know what the fuck's going on and they told me it's the same morning that's the important part but i think i've gotten everything i've gotten all the notes turn the lights off let's be energy efficient while i let the gas run out let's use our suit and uh let's get going now you see when you make that sound you know what it makes me want to do? It makes me want to just go here. It makes me want to just go here and get back under the blankets and go to sleep. Because you see, I don't like the sound that you're making. Okay. Okay. What's happening here? I have a flashlight. I have a rectangular flashlight, amazing. Does it run out of energy? I'm looking at the icon, doesn't seem like any part of it is draining. Patricia Varma, corpse. <sighs> what the fuck happened here? Spare parts and wrench. Hello Morgan, it's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday? Yesterday is. If you want to know what's going on, first you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. Oh God. Okay, it said press T. How do I? How do I open the tutorial? I didn't open my. I want to open the tutorial of the. Uh. 
Okay, anyway, I I didn't see the tutorial of my wrench, but that doesn't matter right now. There's a light here, but I got a flashlight, I don't need this. Patricia, uh... Jesus, what the fuck happened to you? Oh god, I didn't... Oh! Okay. Where's the rest of the hallway? I just realized, where the fuck is the rest of the hallway? West, no clue what's happening there. This is locked. Hello, fishy. I don't want to hurt you, fishy. Wait, my flashlight does run out? I see it running out. Okay, but it does. Re it runs out very slowly and recharges very quickly. Okay. I am going to turn the gas off, but where the fuck do I go? This is still jammed, right? I'm not even allowed to use it. Uh, does my balcony lead anywhere? Okay, I'm just gonna try break this window. <laughs> okay, I can charge this attack. Excuse me? What am I looking at? So wait, what, 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 what am I looking for? <laughs> huh? Good, you're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, what the, what, uh. Notes. February 20, 2030. What do you mean 2035? It says it right there. 20. I don't mean to do I don't mean to do that. But it says it right there. It's 2032. Doesn't. What do you mean 20? What happened to the notes? Oh, bruh. February 22nd, 2035. 7 to 7. I mean, not 7. At midnight to 7.30, sleeping. 7.31, wakes up, turns off alarm. 7.32, checks transcribes. 7.34 to 7.45, on, on computer, various tasks. 8.04, takes shower. 8.26, puts on uniform, exits apartment. February 23rd. No, February 22nd. What do you mean February 23rd? February 23rd doesn't exist. Wait, so it's February 22nd, 2035. It's not fucking 2032. March. What the hell's been happening to me? What is this? Emails. Evelyn McCarthy. Daily tests. Sylvain Bellam. Okay, that's Dr. Bellam to Evelyn McCarthy. If you've been on branches of our main product line, you'll know that sometimes we need to put in extra effort to hit our milestones. And any external risks are fully taken into account when these decisions are made. The move to extend indefinitely was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan. Wait. From Alex and Morgan? Wait, I agreed to something? To extend indefinitely? Huh? It's like some fucking, like... <laughs> like, self... Self... 640. It's like some fucking, like, self... Imprisonment or something for some scientific reasons. From Evelyn McCarthy to Sylvain Bellamy, subject daily test. At this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting up. Oh, come on. Why, why, why can't you read? At this point, because I'm, ex I'm excited, that's why I can't read. Dr. Bellamy, at this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say nothing of the long term damage. That's to say nothing of the long term damage you're likely inflicting from the constant. Neuromod installation and removal. Tell me why we've extended the testing indefinitely. And this guy gave no concrete answers. Okay, he sounds like an asshole. I know it about this morning. From Alex Yu to Neuromod Division. All I know this morning's incidents has left people shaken. 
To prevent any unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your departments. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Ms. Elazor and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in a trauma center and is in critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to this project. Okay, so this was written, I'm assuming, after the attack that happened, like, just now. Well, the previous day. What is utilities? Audio events. Refer to run... To refer to test to run program for timing of audio events. Note, pigeon visuals have been disabled due to a glitch in the red... What do you mean pi What? Wake up call. Hey, Morgan. Wake up. You're burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen, I, uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. It was all fake. It was all fake from the beginning. Oh my god. Okay. Well, this is fucking blowing my mind. Uh, and I am scared. Okay, I forgot I'm playing a horror game. I am scared. Currently. I am very scared currently. Book. Okay. What is this? I don't know. You're telling me I can carry these if I get leverage? Oh my god. Okay. Simulation debriefing observation. Uh, ooh, I love materials. Gimme, give gimme, give I want to loot everything. Can I squeeze past here somehow? No? Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know. That seems like progress, so I'm going to go here for now. Is there anything on these chairs here? No? Okay. What? Don't make these noises, it's scary. What the hell am I looking at? What kind of... This is 2035, you're still using tape reels? I mean, I don't know, maybe supercomputers do use tape reels. I, I'm, I'm not a computer. Note F tape. Manufacturing order number 65,489. Deliver to Mark Marco Sibbins from fabrication department, whatever. Marking this entire screw as defective investigation. Investigate with fabrication marker. Okay. Okay, there's hacking in this game. Love it. Not not physical hacking though. Note. Let's see. Password: icop0876. Well. Ooh, nice. Cool. Emails. Mind about pa company password <laughs> policy. Problem: Danielle show to Marco Simmons, CC Sylvain Bellamy. Just a friendly reminder from the relevant portion of the policy handbook. 2.7 password protection do not share a password with anyone passwords are sensitive confidential information passwords must not be inserted into email messages transcribed conversations or other uh forms of communication do not write down passwords and store them anywhere in your office mm. if you suspect your password has been compromised report it to it immediately users will be held responsible for any activity that occurs on a workstation that has been compromised and not reported okay a note about this okay that's just the, the thing Bad install. Simmons, the test results from Alex Yu to Marco Simmons. The test results today were all negative. Did you install the correct neural mods, touch bases, graves, and figure out what went wrong? This should be your absolute highest priority. Okay. Well, um. Let's see. What is this? Oh, a safe. Debriefing safe. Huh? It's locked. Okay, um, 
Hacking three required, got you. Uh no, not that not that. You gotta try 0451. If you don't know why, then <laughs> I'm sorry, but you got if you're playing a game like this, you gotta try 0451. Always try it. What's it say? Uh, that's a brain. Non local soup. The safe. Oh, okay, the safe. The safe code is. What the fuck does that say? The safe code is. Are those Roman numerals? Oh, I, I can't really make that out. Uh, okay, if, okay. If those are Roman numerals, that's like the like second one. Looks like a, a V maybe. And that's another. That looks like a four. That's another one, but that's a four in like like our numerals, not Roman. Uh, but one. One five four one. I'm gonna try that. Does that work? Nope, doesn't work. Cool. Anything else in this place? Well, I just can I I can get on. Oh, what's this? Note. Sorry, Morgan. Not sure how you managed this, but I can't let you have this key card. Trust me, you'd regret. What the fuck does that mean? Briefcase, huh? Oh, there's a briefcase here. Yeah. Okay. F slide in this 99 reduces damage sustained reduces damage sustained while sliding what I can install mods into my suits okay is this permanent I hope it's not okay cool I can install mods what scope chipset no chipsets available okay cool suit chipsets items well, I got everything. Objectives. Break out. Get to the main lobby. A stranger named January con contact me, contacted me to say that I'm in danger and that I need to escape my apartment. My apartment isn't what I thought it was. Hmm. Dot. Uh, that's just all the stuff. Cool. Uh, well, suit integrity 100 out of 100. Okay, cool. Your transfer uniform and psychoscope can be upgraded with chipsets that provide benefits, boosts, and protections. Transtar uniform and psychoscope can be upgraded. Okay. You may review tutorial messages later in the pause menu. Oh, okay. Wait, tutorials in the pause menu. Why is it in the pause menu? What? Pre order bonus. Okay. Uh, wrench. The Hephaestus Hefi Twist and Loop Handle Wrench is a standard issue for all maintenance personnel employed in Transtar facilities. Good for liberal application of percussive maintenance and mechanical agitation. Use mouse 1 to swing your wrench. Important. Press and hold mouse 1 to charge your attack for maximum damage. All wrench attacks will drain your stamina. Okay. Uh, that's good to know. Med kits. The quickest select menu allows you to quickly alternate between weapons and powers. Assign weapons and powers from inventory to or favorites for you by selecting the item or skill, then pressing a numbered key to assign. Okay, cool. Sounds good. <clears throat> Lucas's disrupt the stun. Ooh, I got a gun. Disrupt the stun gun. Disrupt the stun gun will knock out human targets. Typhon. What the fuck are Typhon? Are those the weird black things? Are more resistant but can still be temporarily stunned. Robotic devices can also be temporarily disabled and ultimately destroyed by the disruptor. Hold on to charge the stun gun and release to fire. Hold. Use R to reload. Okay. Cool. Disrupt the batteries. Amazing. Cool. Uh, nice. I'm glad I saw that weird shiny thing up there and jumped to check it. Cool. So, where do I go now? Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah I forgot. I still don't know the password to this thing, but maybe I'll get it later. I don't fucking know. No, no idea. Sound stage rules. Absolute silence when simulation is progressed. Do not enter the stage unless in costume. Costume, damn. Do not enter, interact with subject of script. Sound stage A reminders. Always reset the position of stage props in the apartment after each test. Replacements for damaged props can be found in the storage area. Be careful not to bump glass when in observation zones. 
The helicopter ride looking glass sequence should only be reset on the overlooking control room. Make sure to clear the rooftop of any stray objects during the simulated flight. I didn't even fly in a helicopter, what? Always return the helicopter to its ready position after being serviced. Is there anything up here? Okay, I gotta check above any climbable looking surfaces. I understand. Exits. I don't want to go there yet. What? This is upside down. My guys, you gotta try harder than this. Simulation soundstage. Warning, do not open door while simulation is in progress. What? There's a door. Oh my god. I feel invaded. I, my privacy feels invaded. Honestly. I don't feel like... I don't feel like... <laughs> I just feel violated, honestly. Damn. Okay, that says exit. There's a section here that I have yet to... Sorry, I know this recording might be taking a bit long, but I am... Very, like, invested in what's <sighs> happening right now. I don't want to keep playing. I don't want to stop for now. That's the same stuff. I'm missing... Water. Okay. What? Wait, isn't there like a fish here? Is the fish fake? Oh my god, the fish is fake. Don't tell me the fish is fake. The fish is... F that That's genuinely heartbreaking. Fuck you. No, not that button. Ooh, what? What's with this music? I'm gonna take all the wine I can. I might need to get drunk later. I don't like these sounds. Pizza, nightstand. What, what does that sound? Bro. It's kind of pissing me off, not gonna lie. <laughs> what? What the fuck is that? Ah! Get away from me! Get away from me! I see you, you turn into this fucking- Okay, when I'm winded, I really can't do anything. So these things turn into random objects. Get the fuck away from me. Ooh, okay, I killed it. Typhon organ, take. Mimic tumor. What? A necropsy required. I can become a fucking like a necromancer base. I might. There's so many cool looking skills. I can lift heavy shit. I can do necromancy. I can hack. I don't know what I want to do. Okay, that was my first encounter with an enemy. <laughs> oh, kind of terrifying. Anything here? Can I can I make it there? I can make it here. Amazing. And I had stuff here. Can I make it there? I can make it here, but this doesn't seem to be anything. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to take full damage here. Oh, cool, I didn't. So all these doors open one way. I... I'm sorry you had to die. Okay, so these weird creatures took over the facility that I was in and I'm guessing they killed everybody. I'm, I'm sad, like, I, my brother... Okay, I was gonna say my brother seemed nice, but he's... 
he's been experimenting on me, but that note also implied that it was like my idea to get experimented on as well, so I don't know. Can I save in this game? Oh, quick save, quick load, save. I'm just gonna create a save right here. Quick save. Okay, cool. Is it the usual keys for quick save? Okay, F5, quick save. It's cool. Uh, where does this go? Oh, I'm by the exit sign. Okay. Okay, I did it. cool, I did a full loop. I think that's all the... I mean, I didn't find the code to that safe, but... Unless I missed it, I don't think I missed anything. Hmm. What's the sign say? Warning, do not open door while simulating. Okay. Security locker. Weird glitch there, but it's fine. Uh. Wait, what? There's Excuse these things are. <coughs> okay, I'll go there just now, but. <gasps> oh god. This is the elevator. So this sus door that I thought maybe led to the stairs led here instead. But uh... <laughs> Hello MU! I mean, I, I guess it makes sense if the elevator... Oh, that's why the lady said I can't talk to you because it's the simulation. Okay. I thought it was some weird classes bullshit. So this says hello MU and I guess it makes sense the elevator knows me if this whole thing is just set up to house me. My floor. Okay, what happens if I do a roof? Oh, this wasn't- this was never an elevator. I understand. This whole thing was fake. This whole freaking thing was fake. It, the building changed. Not- I didn't go- that- that's why that elevator was so fast. Instead of- oh god. This is fucking blowing my mind. Well, I've now cut off my way of access between these two areas. Let's go out here, I guess. What? What the fuck is happening? That's fucking terrifying. When the glass breaks, it makes this weird sound, which I really don't like. It makes you think there's a monster or something. What? There's explosive- Okay. <laughs> I gotta try this. Throw! Okay, you can't throw it very far. You really can't throw it very far. What happens if I do this? Oh shit. That's what happens when you do that. Okay, first death! First death in this game. No life signs. Difficulty can be changed. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, can be changed. Cool. Uh, okay, cool. So, don't shoot the explosive canisters. What's that sound? I don't like that sound. So, is, that's the pilot's voice, I'm assuming. Jesus Christ, what's happening? Oh my god, this place is the same floor as well. Rooftop thing.
Okay, so now we're on the roof, apparently. I am, I am mind blown, honestly. <laughs> this is like, I love the fact that you can see exactly how they like did everything and like, like made the simulation and changed things around. It's genuinely mind blowing and I love it. Okay, cool. I'm back at this weird testing facility. Oh, the store's open this time. Ooh, utilities. What does this say? I remember something in the... Okay. I remember something in the options. Let's talk about a scope or something. Z. Okay. Examine toggle psychoscope. Anything I'm missing, reload, last weapon, tab, flashlight, audio log, scanner, scanner lock on X, okay, I don't know, what, I don't know if I have a scanner, okay, uh, let me try that, nope, Z, oh, okay, cool, so I can zoom, that's great, error is good, okay, well, that's just a, that's just a blue screen, Dimitri Bowser, nice surname, I know it's about, okay, let's just note about this morning, utilities, scene selection. While authorized scene se transition times, what, well, note, authorized scene transition times include when subject MU is inside the elevator during maintenance operation between test runs. Report any technical issues immediately to Sylvain Bellamy. Let's reset the test rooms to current configuration, test rooms affected A, B, and C. Okay. Is there anything hidden or extra when I'm like on this side and the scene changes? No, doesn't doesn't seem like it. Cool. Uh, testing. Okay, not that button. Testing facility. Right. Oh, what's this? Medkit. Okay, I have a medkit now. Authorized personnel only, clearance behind, required beyond this point. I don't think I'm going to change the test management yet, because I want to check out the rooms before I reset anything, you know? Testing rooms. Okay, never mind, I can't check out the testing rooms. Oh wait, I can access this room now. Oh! Hello! Typhon Cacoplasmus. Everyone calls them Mimics. Be careful what you pick up. Okay, so these are Typhon. Okay, you're easy to kill. Nothing on you? Cool. Okay. Okay, I'm in... Uh, I'm in this room, and... Okay, so this wrench allows me to break stuff, but when I was throwing a chair at the window yesterday, it wouldn't break. Understood. Fully understood. Okay, I'm gonna stop breaking stuff and like try reset the test to see what happens. Not wrong button. Uh, let's reset. Call, I reset. What did that do? This is open now. I feel like if I keep doing these tests, one of them is gonna end up with like the box replaced with like the um, the Typhon or whatever. I'm gonna keep doing them, I don't know.
but be careful. Um, what? I pressed the button, you meant to stop! What the hell is this? Can I get in here? No? Okay. What's that? I saw transcribe Marcus Simmons. Alex. Simmons? What's going on? We have a problem. Oh, this is what I heard what just before Morgan? I passed out. She's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Okay, n nothing new. Just exactly what I heard before I sedated last time. Can't do anything with the Rorschach test? Cool. Fuck you. Uh, anything else around here? It seems interesting. Don't know. Taking a look around. Oh, computer monitor. Cool. Not about this, okay. Morgan's behavior. From Sylvain Bellamy to Jialang Heng. Alex has requested all orders go through him after Morgan's outburst at the debrief pending a psych evaluation. Outburst? Alex indicated he doesn't want any more surprises from Mo Okay, our brother now sounds like a dick. Nor do we. Granted, Morgan had forgotten everything from the last test, as expected. Okay, so they keep erasing my memories to test on me again, whatever the f fuck the tests are. But the aggressive response to the same set of testing criteria has was clearly a departure. My recommendation is we need to start charting personality drift before future tests. In debriefings and within the test itself. Okay, clearly I went into this as like a willing participant or whatever, and then my personality started to drift as my memory was... As my memory and like my... Burn circuit board. As my memory and like my brain and everything was just continually like fried and refried, and they were like, Oh fuck, I guess we should stop this, but then... My brother was like, no, fuck you. Don't listen to anybody. Don't stop anything. Hey, I'm about fear somehow. Well, I did not somehow. Uh, oh, blood. Jesus, okay, I didn't notice that. Anything cool here? Anything hidden or cool? I really don't vibe with this rectangular ass <laughs> flashlight. It, it kind of annoys me. Anything here? No? Okay, cool. Anything on top of this thing? Nope, okay. Let's go back down. Don't just drop down, because I might hurt myself. That's the... It looks like my apartment where I came from, so I don't think I want to go across there. Whoa. Oh my god! It's a science operator! They killed my girl! What the hell? Don't kill my girl! Okay. Exit to lobby, skill recorder, stage B, control room. Okay, I'm back here. That's my apartment where I was, I recognize that. Okay. More blood. Amazing. Simulation lab, simulation briefing, observation. Cool, I can't get on top of that. That's okay, that's my apartment. And anything else? That looks like progress, so I'm not gonna go there yet. Stage B control room. Sound stage rules. Nothing above here. Jesus! Dead person. Get the fuck away from me. Huh. 
Okay, Ooh, I haven't got an itch yet. I don't know how much health I'll lose if I get hit on nightmare difficulty, but we'll see, we'll see. I don't know if I'm meant to be up here, but you know, I trust that this game will allow me to not allow me to like go places where I will break the game if I go. Anything interesting up here? No? Okay, cool. Well, let's... Let's check the body of this poor guy then. Greet Mickelson. Another wrench. Okay, I have two wrenches now. I mean, I did turn item degradation on. So, I might need two wrenches. Did that coffee cup move? Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus Christ. Okay, so that... Sound is them. Okay, cool. I know, I know for future reference now. If I hear... It's the, it's the fuckers. Ooh, there's loot in here. Okay, so what is this? Workstation. Okay to reset the simulation. Load. Locales, Earthside, Echelon, whatever, 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 whatever. Note for technical issues, contact Dr. Lorenzo Calvino or Miyu Okabe. Echelon roof. What's happening? Oh, Echelon's in my apartment building. Oh my god. Bro. Bro, this is fucking crazy. <gasps> ah. So, it just disappears and they just simulate the whole city around me. That's insane. Transtar room. <laughs> and now I'm at the Transtar roof. Amazing. Cool. Cool. <laughs> LG power. Looking glass power. Looking glass. Like, okay. So this thing is called the looking glass system. I mean, hey, it looks pretty. Leave it on, leave it on. I like it. What, what happens up here? What does it look like up here when this thing is on? Okay, it looks like that. Cool. Well... Huh. Well, it's been like 90 minutes and... I think I'm gonna... Decontamination? Yeah. I think I'm gonna call it there. Thank you, everybody. Oh, God. Okay, no. I need to gather my thoughts before I go. This game already has captured my attention, enthralled me, and I'm loving it. I love the freedom, I love just being able to pick up and throw random shit, I love getting glimpses at the cool, like, skills I might be able to use in the future, I love the story so far, the whole reveal of, like, the, the apartment being and everything being fake, it was all amazing, it was all well done, I'm really enjoying it, I hope watching me play, like, more of an action-themed game has been kind of enjoyable to everybody, I hope it's looked okay, I hope it sounded okay, I am having a blast. This is the kind of game I want to always play more of in my life. I love these kinds of games. Thank you everybody for watching, whoever does. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.